Hey guys, it's Nicholas here from UpgradeToLife.com and in this video we are going to talk about Cure Relationship Insecurity, Why Love is Your Birthright. So I got asked on Instagram many times to do a video about relationships, uh, manifest relationships, also manifest specific people and I'm straightforward with you guys, I'm not a big fan of making 1000 videos about how to manifest a relationship, how to manifest an SP, do this when your SP does this, do this when your when your relationship is going sideways or whatever, because like it's always the same solution. Why should I do um so so yeah like like why should I do ten videos around a certain topic where it's clear that there's only one solution? So so for me it doesn't make sense to um say oh like SP this SP that SP this SP that. Because, I mean, guys, again, it, it, it's one way, it's one solution. You don't need to watch 10,000 videos on this one topic. Just know how to use all of this stuff the right way. Maybe invest in yourself, buy some books, start to apply this, uh, start to learn from a, co from a coach so that you can um, fasten this way, speed, speed it up. But other than that, um, it's not that you need to do all of those 10,000 magical things. You don't need to have 10,000 people about your relationship or SP. That is what I did. But at the end, it didn't brought me anywhere unless I started to apply it, work with someone, get a mentor that showed me that, slammed the door in my face when I, when I had some doubts, worries and fears, um, and then I got it. So in this video, I want to explain to you again how you can cure relationship insecurity, what is even the cause for relationship insecurity, and that love is your birthright. And in my opinion, only alone this video can be enough for you to see changes in your relationship life. Maybe if it's someone specific, someone new, your current relationship, um, it doesn't matter. right? Because again, there is only one solution, one understanding, one um, realization to make. So with that, let's just jump into this video. So first of all, let's talk about the cause for relationship problems. So as you know, this community... Um, but just life in general, it's, it's it's full of relationship problems. Let's be honest, right? I'm sure you know families, maybe your own relationship went sideways. Um, things didn't went the way that you wanted them to go. And there, there's some problems. So the question is, what is the root cause? Obviously, there are some surface level causes such as, oh, yeah, you, you didn't text it back or shit like that. But let's really talk about the, the root cause of that, of relationship problems. So first thing is obsession. I will list them and then talk about them. So we have obsession, ownership, attachment, being selfish, um, going in the relationship to take, right, and make the other person responsible for your happiness and well-being. So those are the root causes. Right? When you obsess about this other person, you think, oh, without this person, I cannot live. I have to have them right now, right here. They need to be there in my life. Um, other than that, my life is useless. Or ownership, like this person is mine, um, they're only mine and yeah, I need to have them. Or just attachment, right? Being selfish, thinking about yourself, um, which goes hand in hand with the next point, which is going there to take, going in a relationship to take, right? Not being a giver and share your wholeness, right? But only take something, take everything that you can from this other person without um, giving. And, but the last point, in my opinion, summarizes everything and is the most important, which is you make the other person responsible for your happiness and well-being. So you put your happiness, your love, your well-being, your excitement for life, whatever it may be, into this other person and you, you invest all of that into this other person and then when the person is leaving you or when the relationship is going a little bit sideways, right, or when um, the person... When you go into another relationship, then you start to miss them, whatever it may be, right? When you place all of that into this different person, um, it's like it's like a recipe for failure. It's a recipe for um, unsuccessful, unhealthy relationships, not long-lasting relationships, you not being able to manifest your specific person when you come into with this premise. Um, that is why it is so important to understand who you really are. I made a video about this. Check it out. I will link it here. It is so important for you to understand Neville's core teachings. For that, just watch my channel because I share all of them. I want to help you to apply them. Uh, with those understandings, it is possible, right? To cure your relationship insecurity, to cure your um, relationship obsession, neediness, feeling lackful, um, and all of this stuff, and, and therefore manifesting the relationship that you want with whomever it may be. So 
here are some explanations. So first of all, you cannot manifest the relationship you want if you're not open to receive it, right? So if you still feel unworthy, if you still feel you don't deserve it, if you still feel it's not possible, right? If you if you if you still um yeah have all of this those 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 issues and if you get it right if you're able to do it then the relationship won't last long so when you when you are able to manifest a relationship from this state of lack and neediness and security because you you apply some techniques and you get some results oftentimes this is not really long term and this is not a good place to be in a relationship with um and to and to start manifesting a relationship with because you will just self sabotage yourself when you don't have your your inner fundamentals um in the correct place. So you won't have a happy, long-lasting relationship if you're secretly focused on trying to prove your value. That's another point. Right? If you try to be someone to play a role that you are, and if you try to prove that you're worthy, uh, you just prove it through your what you say and stuff like that. Not going to benefit long-lasting relationships. So a relationship is simply a reflection of your internal state. Right? When you love yourself, when you're in tune with yourself, when you realize your true nature, when you are abundant, whole, complete within yourself, then this relationship is just there to, to, to express that. Right? It's just another form of your internal expression, but it's not something that you desperately need in order to be fulfilled. So I'm not saying that you should not have awesome relationships. You definitely should because there is a, that's an amazing uh, learning experience where you learn about, about the person yourself because they are mirroring back to you your own um, your own internal stuff. So that's awesome, right? But when you have a, a very shaky uh, internal state and internal states and you are not even fulfilled within yourself, then it's it's very easy that a relationship goes sideways when you're not, first of all, um, abundant, whole, confident within yourself. So also, um, everyone has a different image of a relationship. I mean, that is clear right? There is not one perfect relationship. So you may want to be in a relationship with one person and you want to have a romantic relationship. Another person, for them, a relationship means I'm together with, with two women or with two men. And we have this, um, yeah, more more people on a relationship. For some people, they want to have the same gender. So don't don't think about the perfect image of a relationship that you maybe see online. On the other side, um, yeah, relationships, in order to be long-lasting, there are certain things that you need to remember. There are certain things that you need to um, yeah, realize, first of all, before going into a relationship. And when you are in a relationship and it is going sideways, not the way you want, then to make those realizations as quick as possible to, um, yeah, like, like save your relationship if you don't want it to go sideways. And relationships are also concepts that we have adopted from society, family, and friends. Which again means that actually, who who defined a relationship, right? Who defined yeah, it should you should do this, you should live there, you should do exactly this? I mean, th- those are still concepts, right? That you adopted from all of the stuff and also movies and Hollywood movies, right? Don't look at this shit and think yeah, this is exactly how, how I want it and how I should have it. If you want it differently, then that's fine. It's no problem with that. So. Now we are talking about the super crucial parts, okay? So I want you to don't invest your happiness completely into another person. Rather invest your happiness into your true self. And you have to face this truth. For some people who deal with a recent breakup or recent um, yeah, relationship problem or people who desperately want to manifest a relationship with, with someone new, specific person, it literally doesn't matter. Again, because the process is all the time the same. So when you invest your happiness and your sense of happiness into something on the outside, it's meant to fail. I'm straight to the point. Like, like, like again, that that's the recipe for, um, for for unhappiness. Because look, in this video that I linked previously in this video, which is called um, "Who Are You? Your True Self: Discovering Your True Self," I linked this some minutes above in the in the info card. And what we discovered there is that your true self is something that never changes, that is ever present, that is limitless, infinite, which is your awareness, your consciousness of being. Okay. And 
only by you identifying with that and tapping more into that, you will feel more peace and more happiness within yourself because you realize, wow, I am like this, this, this whole and abundant being. And that is the only thing that remains no matter what. Everything else is coming and going, changing, up and down, peaks and valleys, whatever. So when you now place your happiness and your love and your well-being into something on the outside, right, something in, in, into another person that, that, that is yeah, also, also coming and going, maybe you can't see each other for three months or maybe something happens, maybe you split up for, for, for a time until you get back together or whatever it is, then you will get very unhappy because you see this happiness in this other person because but you don't realize that happiness is only found within yourself and then reflected in circumstances and people. So invest your happiness into your true self because that true self never leaves you. That true self is always there. Uh, that true self is full abundance and then the relationships that you have are going to be way more amazing in when, when you do this, right? And you have to face this truth. You can't run away from it. And I'm sure when you listen to that, deep down, you know that this is true. You know that the other person can never actually really fulfill you. They can, they will mirror back your own fulfillment that you have. But when you seek your fulfillment in this other person, they leave, they, you split up, something happens, relationship goes sideways, whatever it is, um, you lose your happiness because you did this unconsciously. So to love means to work on your own insecurities. Discover that you are whole, that you are abundant, that you're worthy, just because of your true nature, just because of your existence. That is your birthright. You don't need to um, attain that through years of something. It's just a, a realization that you can make instantaneously uh, by watching my channel, by re reading the right books from Neville um, and, and deeping, digging a little bit deeper who you really are and to realize that you actually don't need another person for your happiness. So that's a, that's for, for some people, that's a very tough and bitter pill to swallow, but it is true. You don't need someone to be happy. You don't need them. You can have them. You can enjoy time with them. You, you, and that's great. But you can have the best and most amazing relationship that you want. But not as long as you need this other person. You can love them. You can appreciate them. You can do everything, obviously, right? It's, I'm not telling you you can't do things. <laughs> I'm telling you the opposite. You can do everything you want. But when you are coming from a lack state, from a need state, from an... Um, not abundant state, things will go sideways at some point. That's always how it goes until you make this realization. So be thankful if things went sideways because that just led you to maybe those teachings and showed you <clears throat> that it is possible for you to shift things around. So like I said, this does not mean that you can't have the most amazing relationship you want because obviously you, you can, right? Of course you can. It's just important to not seek love on the outside. That is the point I want to bring across. Because you will never find it there. If you find it within, you will have amazing relationships. But when you find this love within, when you realize that this love is your birthright, it's there all the time for you to, to identify with and to occupy. It's not something that the person gives or takes away from you. When you see love as something that someone gives you or takes away from you and you are uh, dependent on, on, on other people and relationships, you are in for some trouble. So don't do this. And I want to share some quotes with you that also, um, yeah, explain this topic. So your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. Okay, this is amazing. This is an amazing realization. So when you seek for love, it just means that you don't have already found it within. But when you find the barriers that you build against love, maybe misconceptions, maybe strange paradigms or some things that your parents told you, your friends, society, and you, you you get rid and you detach from all those concepts and paradigms and you realize that this love is within you, then you have love. When when you have discovered this love within you, then guess what is mirrored back to you? All the amazing qualities, happiness, love, um, yeah, like, like being wanted, being appreciated, whatever, it is all first within. When the world is a mirror, then that does mean that it also only mirrors back this those stuff when you have first of all um, established that, discovered that, realized that this is already within you. And Neville said, this is um, a very famous quote by Neville when it comes to love and also relationships, because he said, love is our birthright, right? Love is the fundamental necessity of our life. Do not go seeking for that which you are. Those who go seeking for love only make manifest their own lovelessness and the loveless never find love. 
because how can a loveless find love when they're loveless within and the world is only the mirror? How can the mirror show back love? So when you are in a relationship, everything's going great, but then you you the only thing that most of the times happens actually is that you self-sabotage it because you get insecure, you have worries, you have doubts that are then being projected back to you that are then playing out. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy and then you end up with um, like the worst case because you weren't aware of your imagination, that you imagined the worst case stuff, that you um, that this was then mirrored back to you. So relationships are not about thinking, what can I get? But rather to give, to empower each other and share each other's wholeness and completeness. So the relationships that are the best are actually when two complete beings, when two people who realize their own worthiness, their own abundance, their own uh, completeness come together and just share that with each other. But when you go um, go there to take from the other person, only take, take, take and try, they will give you some some, uh, fulfillment, some empowerment, some wholeness then again, you are in for trouble because you, you will not find it in this person. They cannot really complete you. Um, you can only share it with someone. It's only a mirror, but you should not seek it within them. So when you realize that you are all you need, okay, that your true self is, that you are actually all you need, that no other will ever bring you happiness or complete you, you set yourself free and relationships become way more awesome. Trust me, guys. You will not. You will not. You will not feel needy. You will not uh, feel feel the slack. You are really peaceful and loving and just sharing that. But you're not uh, focused. Like you're not. You're not outcome focused. You're not. Oh, I need to do this action to prove my value to get this and that this person loves me. No, you have found this already within yourself. Your own. Your own worthiness and love and completeness and abundance. And then it's so easier to have uh, ongoing, long-lasting, great relationships with people. With the people you want. Can be a specific person, can be someone new, can be a current relationship. It does not matter because it is the same for all relationships. But many people, here's the problem. Many people want to manifest a specific person. They come into those teachings, they hear some techniques, apply this stuff, but they worry why they don't get results, why they're not lasting, why things then go sideways again. And that is why they don't accept and understand and realize what I'm going to show for you in this video. So when you first understand this, then you don't really need all of those different videos and techniques and stuff like that. You you already got them on my channel. To apply them, they work for no matter what you want the same way. Think about Neville. He didn't came up with a technique for relationship, then a different technique for money, then a different technique for health. No, it's just your, about your state of being. So stop binge watching all this crap out there, which is really confusing, which is really um, missing the point many times in my personal opinion. I'm straightforward to the point and straightforward with you guys, uh, that will more misconfuse you and not really get you the results that you want. Okay, that's it. So when you're interested in yourself and and self-realization and and really being being confident with yourself, enjoying time, and you're able to enjoy time with yourself and you are appreciating and discovering your own completeness and wholeness, again, relationships will become more enjoyable. That is just how it goes. And it's a natural byproduct because... Um, yeah, it's, it's mirroring back your own completeness. So, also, no one wants to be with someone that is needy and obsessive and has all the traits that we covered in the beginning that are the cause for the relationship problem. Everyone wants freedom. Everyone wants freedom. Everyone wants just peace and freedom because that is the nearest feeling of our true nature. Love in such a way that the person you love feels free. Again, love in such a way that the person you love feels free. But when you love with obsession, when you love with lack, when you love with neediness, uh, the person that you love won't, 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 um, yeah, will reflect this back to you, and and your your relationship won't be free, won't be amazing, won't be free flowing, because there's always this underlying um, um fear of abandonment, fear of loss, fear that you're not enough, f- uh, feeling unworthy, and this shit. So get this stuff out of your way. Realize your true nature. Realize your worthiness. Uh, and don't go around thinking, oh, yeah, I need to be the, the baddest bitch or the, the baddest guy. That's not required. That is not what, what this is about. But it's just realizing your own worthiness. And then you, you you start to treat yourself that way. And then others will treat yourself in the same way. Right? Think about it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, this was a very important video that I wanted to make because um, it's a huge topic. Relationships are very important in our experience 
Um, obviously, and it's great to enjoy amazing relationships, but in order to make them amazing, you first of all have to have those realizations that I just shared with you. And then you will have more amazing relationships and then it will be easier for you to manifest and realize and achieve the relationship that you aim to experience in your world with whomever it is. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you want to learn more how you can shift out of undesirable states into the state that you want to occupy to experience the goals that you have, no matter if it's um, a relationship, a specific person, more money, another job, whatever it is, guys, it works for all life areas, then watch my free masterclass. You will find the link for this in the description. And thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.